What's up, everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com. Today, I'm going to do a video about the MS-20 Mini and the IMS-20, and also some modifications that I've done. So up top here, I've got the MS-20 Mini, and down below here, I have the IMS-20 on iPad. Uh, I have them both fairly closely matched right now, so I'll go ahead and hit this C note, and then the MS-20. So the first thing you're going to notice about uh, these two units is the MS-20 Mini has a very noisy filter. Um, when I sweep this, you'll hear it. Okay, so, and obviously the, uh, the IMS-20 does not have that noise. And I'm not flicking you guys off, it's just easier to use my middle finger uh, in this way. So, anyway. Uh, the sound between the two is actually really quite close. I've been uh, pretty impressed by that. And I actually really, really like the IMS-20 uh, app. It's one of my favorite um, iOS applications. So, when I got the MS-20 Mini, a couple of things that I wanted to change about it is... Uh, because I have a Euro rack behind the MS-20 here, I wanted to add uh, some ports to it. So I added a pulse width modulation for uh, os oscillator one here so that if I want to use an envelope or something to modulate the pulse width on this, I can do that. Uh, so far, I've added uh, from oscillator one, I have square wave out saw wave out, sine wave out, or excuse me, triangle wave out, and the VCO uh, mix output, which is basically whichever one of these I select. Um, but what that allows me to do is uh, just get a little bit more creative with my routing. I already have multis and other things that I can use, so I won't be adding the multi to it uh, like I've seen some people do. But what I will be doing is I'm going to probably do the same modification for VCO2, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be looking for some other modifications on it. But that was the first one that I thought of and just cracked it open and did it. And then I ran out of jacks. So I need to do more. But what I want to show you right now is the uh, interesting things that you can do by having this mod. You can make the filter drive in an interesting way. So again, I'll, I'll show you a comparison between these two. So very close in sound. And uh, what we can do here is I'm going to bring the resonance up on the IMS-20. So I get a little bit more of the resonance sound on the IMS-20, and then of course if I bring, bring it up even higher, I feel like this is getting a little bit closer. And then we'll go up into screaming resonance. Let's do that over here. Feels like the um, the filter needs to be open just a little bit more on here, so. Okay, 
and sorry if I'm getting in the way of the camera. I'm just kind of haphazardly doing this. Uh, so one of the things that you can do with the MS-20 is because it's a semi-modular, you can kind of patch different things around and, and do interesting routing with it. Now, of course, the normal way of uh, driving the filter on this is you can send your signal out into your external input or you could uh, send that into your external signal processor here which is going to run it through an amplifier and then uh, you could send it out or even run it through the bandpass filter into there so there's different options as far as how hard you want to drive it and how much control you want to have over driving the input to the filter but without having the modification for the raw oscillator outputs you can't get all the different timbers that you can get uh, by having the output mod. So what I've done here is I'm going to take um, this is doing the triangle oscillator right now and I can I can take we'll, we'll go with the signal output direct to the external input so you can hear that. Now if I do that same method and send it into the external signal processor and then through the bandpass filter and then in here okay and or I could, I could go before the bandpass filter Now, you start having fun when you send in different waveforms into it. I should have my lighting better in this video but again I'm just kind of doing it on the fly here so let's take a listen to the saw oscillator on that I, I should pull up uh, let's go ahead and pull up the S20 on here on the scope I do want to point out that this scope is more for fun purposes. It's not 100% uh, accurate because it's in uh, it's not a DC coupled interface. So square waves, the end of them will be pulled down to zero. So it kind of makes the waveforms look a little bit odd. But you can still see things like notches, and you can see the the filter cutoff rounding things off, and that that sort of thing. Let's change these around. And of course you can play with the signal level down here and kind of fool around with it. Again, previously you really would have only gotten something like this. You would have been limited. So 
can really drive the filter in uh, fun ways by doing that. And of course, you can use that as uh, FM on uh, you know frequency cutoff. Let's go ahead and take this out of here. I have that plugged into a in a module envelope, but let's go ahead and play with that. Without that, we would be getting just a uh... and uh, you you really just get to have a lot of fun with it. Now, of course, you can do things like um, send let's send this saw wave into the pulse width modulation here. Select pulse width. Things like uh, go out to here, and where'd that other preview go? Okay. Do it this way. So you can get these like little subtle changes that way. And of course, if you're using that on something like uh, like this envelope I have over here. course you can further attenuate it by sending it through here again send it out into here So just some interesting little mods that you can do with this now. And uh, before I end the video, what I think I'll do is I'll just run through a few different settings on the IMS-20 and the MS-20 Mini together so that you can get a little bit more of a taste for um, how these two sound in comparison. Uh, so let's do square wave. We'll put the pulse width all the way back. Open up the filter. kind of hard to do this uh, over here on the side like this but
sucker. Give it just a little bit. So just a quick, you know, showing of how that sounds. I'll uh, I'll actually go ahead and take signal out. We will send it into external input, just so you can hear that real quick. Do that over here. Kind of roughly getting there. with the uh, pulse and the triangle. Anyway, this is Flux with FluxWithIt.com. Hope you enjoyed the video, and there'll be more nerd twiddling at some other time. Check out FluxWithIt.com. Also, don't forget to check out Dominant Drums, the newest machine expansion that I just released over at BigFishAudio.com.